The Calvet Home Loan is provided by Calvet, a California state agency that's authorized to provide a home loan or farm loan benefit for veterans. Voter-approved bonds provide the low-cost funding and Calvet is a self-funded state organization. Here are 20 facts about the Calvet loan you may not know. Fact number one. Calvet home loans do not have a prepayment penalty. You can pay off your loan at any time. The escrow holder handling your new loan can request a payoff from Calvet. Since your fire or hazard insurance and disaster insurance are tied to your Calvet loan, make sure you have arranged for replacement coverage before you pay off Calvet. Fact number two. Unlike the interest rate and pricing typically available for a traditional VA loan, the interest rates on Calvet loans are not based on FICO scores. Rather, they are based on the period during which the veteran served. The rate set by Calvet is not dependent on the secondary market, but on bond rates. The rate on your Calvet loan is locked upon the receipt of the purchase contract and that rate lock lasts without expiration regardless of how long the transaction takes to close. No lock extensions are needed, and so, no lock extension costs. If the loan is actively in process at the Calvet office, and the bond rate should reduce, the rate will automatically be lowered on your Calvet loan. Fact number three. Calvet uses a contract of sale also known as a land contract, as the financing instrument for Calvet loans. This means Calvet purchases the home you selected and takes legal title of the property at close of escrow. Calvet then sells the property to you using a contract of sale. The veteran repays the loan to Calvet in installments. When the loan is paid in full, either when the last payment is made or if you refinance or sell, Calvet issues a grant deed to transfer legal title to you. A document called a Memorandum Agreement of Sale is recorded to show that the contract exists and you, the veteran, hold what is referred to as the equitable title to the property, which gives you all the same rights of ownership as with legal title. Fact number four. One of the major advantages of a contract of sale is that Calvet is able to obtain fire or hazard insurance and disaster insurance, providing superior insurance coverage at group rates. Calvet is a self-insured lender and doesn't provide a declarations page like the big name insurance companies do. Useful information can be found here. Unlike many standard carriers, Calvet does insurance homes in fire areas, flood zones, and earthquake zones. Their deductibles and annual premiums are usually fairly low. Fact number five. The Calvet Home Loan comes with a 1% origination fee charged by Calvet. If your loan is packaged and submitted by a mortgage broker, like Patriot Pacific Financial Corp, for example, that 1% fee is charged by the broker instead. Remember, having a broker in your corner to correctly package and fight for your deal can make a significant difference in your prospects of securing loan approval. Fact number six. Veterans who lack sufficient entitlement to secure a traditional VA loan from a bank, credit union, or mortgage company often successfully secure VA financing with partial entitlement. For example, when entitlement is compromised due to a prior VA foreclosure, Calvet can still finance to 100% of your purchase price with no down payment. Traditional VA lenders sell the VA loan on the secondary market. And when they do so, there needs to be a 25% guarantee from the Department of VA. When the veteran doesn't have full entitlement, that 25% guarantee is not possible without a cash down payment from the veteran. Whereas traditional VA lenders would require a down payment, in many cases, Calvet won't. That's because Calvet sells its loans on the secondary market. And if they determine the file is worthy, they'll make an exception to forego the 25% requirement. Fact number seven. There are different types of Calvet loans depending on the veteran's entitlement availability. 
First and foremost, CalVet will seek to use the VA program. But if a certificate of eligibility cannot be obtained from the veteran, then CalVet will do a quote-unquote conventional VA program with either 3% or 5% down. The guidelines mirror VA loan. Fact number eight. CalVet loans are not just for purchasing a home. A veteran can refinance into a CalVet loan, but this is not common. CalVet does not offer the VA EARL or standard rate and term refinance, and there's no VA cash out product either. Fact number nine. Unlike traditional VA loans, which are run through one of two automated underwriting systems, known as DU or LP, CalVet loans are manually underwritten the old-fashioned way. In other words, the underwriter makes a judgment call based on the information in front of her. In cases where the veteran's remaining entitlement is less than the 25% typically required for full VA guarantee, but more than 15%, an upper management second signature is not required. If less than 15%, then typically the underwriting is escalated to management for higher level approval. Fact number 10. Although exceptions are made in special cases, the maximum debt ratio allowed on a CalVet loan is 50%. Fact number 11. The maximum loan amount allowed on a CalVet loan is calculated by multiplying the county conformity limit by 125%, where that loan amount includes the VA funding fee. For example, if the Riverside County limit is $548,250, then the max CalVet loan would be $685,312. Fact number 12. Whereas the traditional VA program would allow two veterans who are not married to each other to purchase together, with each using their partial entitlement, for example, the CalVet program is only allowed for veteran and spouse, or veteran by himself or herself. Fact number 13. CalVet has a closing cost assistance program available to enable the veteran to cover closing costs in those cases where seller credit is not present. To be eligible for the program, the veteran must not have been on the title to a principal residence in the most recent 36 months. The purchase price must fall within a set limit and the qualifying income must not exceed the threshold set in that county. Ask your Patriot Pacific Loan Officer for details since these figures adjust from year to year. The second loan is considered a silent second and has no payments due for the first 10 years. Following that 10th year, it's repayable over the following 20 years. Fact number 14. In a home purchase involving a CalVet loan, the seller is asked to pay the VA non-allowable costs. These are certain costs which the VA has specified the veteran cannot pay. Some typical non-allowables include the escrow settlement fee, notary fee, document preparation fee, etc. In those cases where sellers oppose paying non-allowables, real estate professionals can point out to the seller that the veteran is allowed to pay for the owner's title policy and transfer tax, which are customarily seller expenses in California. Since CalVet does not require an Ulta title policy, Rearranging these costs can make the deal work by not netting the seller less proceeds resulting from VA non-allowables. Fact number 15. Since CalVet follows traditional VA lending guidelines, in community property states, the spouse's credit obligations need to be included in qualifying the veteran. Some of the other VA requirements include consideration of childcare expenses in the qualifying debt ratios, as well as imposing a residual income requirement. Fact number 16. On CalVet loans, other than the 1% origination fee, no other lender fees can be charged. This includes processing fee, underwriting fee, admin fee, etc. Fact number 17. All veterans who served on active duty a minimum of 90 days, not including active duty for training purposes only, whether during wartime or peacetime, are eligible. Eligibility requires service under honorable conditions. 
There are no prior residency rules. A veteran may have entered service from outside California, National Guard or reservists who have been ordered to active duty, including Active Guard and Reserve, AGR duty, are eligible. Fact number 18. Just like traditional VA loans, a funding fee is charged on CalVet loans and waived if the veteran has a disability rating and is therefore exempt. On the CalVet 97 program, the fee is still charged even if the veteran has disability rating. Fact number 19. CalVet will fund loans on mobile homes that are in a park, but there's a down payment requirement, 10% for double wides and triple wides, 15% for single wides and used double wides or triple wides. The mobile home does have to be permanently attached as real estate with the 433A document recorded. Fact number 20. In a very competitive seller's market, where sellers are unwilling to give up any credits for closing costs, and the veteran has difficulty coming up with sufficient funds to cover those costs, the CalVet program can be a deal maker. This is because CalVet offers the closing cost program for eligible veterans who meet the criteria.